I don't see what color they are. What I see is a bunch of crazy racist nuts wound up by the media because they're going, screw you, Trump, because you, you know, it's all about Trump. He's some clean-cut, mentally retarded guy, but because he's clean-cut because mommy dressed him that way, they think they're getting back at Whitey when it's somebody that doesn't have half of what they got. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, I love having Christmas trees in the studio. And to me, it's just pretty, you know, lights in the dark of the winter. That's why the ancient Druids and Germanic tribes would bring evergreen trees in during the freezing winter because they believed it was powerful. It could live in the sub-zero temperatures that killed them. And it always stayed green. They liked the smell of it. And they would put little lights and candles on it, literally praying to the sun god to bring the sun back. So I love how the uh, atheist and, 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 uh, and occultist, and I always see Druids and uh, Wiccans protesting Christmas. And I'm just like, uh, you know. And I don't think Jesus gets mad at us as Christians that we think bombs are pretty. But, I mean, if you want to get down to brass tacks, these are big old giant occult symbols in here. But, you know, people say a rising sun behind the planets is the symbol of the Illuminati. Uh, or they say a star on the flag is, no, every symbol's been taken over by occultists. I like the symbol of a sun rising behind the planet. It's pretty. Uh, I, I, you know, I like Christmas trees. I like, you know, all of it, all of it has, you know, some type of, you know, cultural thing. It's not evil to culturally, you know, sit there and get a piece of mistletoe and have it be an excuse at a party drinking e eggnog, you know, laced with rum or whatever to, you know, like that girl and say, oh, everybody has to kiss under the mistletoe, and then it gives the girl, if she likes it, not harassment, the excuse to go under the mistletoe. You know, these are all rituals, uh, you know, going on that people came up with. And again, the mistletoe was seen as an aphrodisiac, an hallucinogen, a lot of other things by the Druids uh, and, and, and by those tribes. But it's just, it just shows how the left's trying to get rid of all this, and when all it is is a mixture of, you know, Western European uh, winter ritual uh, with Christianity. People say, well, that's blasphemy. You're going to go to hell for that. It, it, God judges the heart. A pretty tree with lights on it. Now it's a Christian symbol. The leftists have really made it a Christian symbol because they've said it's Christian. And again, they're so politically wicked, they just want to dominate all symbols and say, we want what you really like, Christmas trees you remember grandma with. Grandma wouldn't put up a Christmas tree because she was a devil worshiper. She was putting up a Christmas tree because it was pretty. So that's what this comes down to. Matt Dubiel, I like that studio with 1530 WCKG, our big flagship there in Illinois. The next few weeks, we're going to have a big announcement. It's not just uh, not just the good old uh, 1530, uh, but uh, also the 102.3 that covers much of the city, but it's about to cover it all. I'm going to leave it at that, but uh, fantastic radio station picking up Owen Shore in the war room, David Knight in the real news, and so much more. So tell us, my friend, what you've got coming up today. Well, Alex, you know, they were afraid of mistletoe because when you have Joe Biden in the White House for eight years, <laughs> you get really skittish around the mistletoe because uh, <laughs> creepy Uncle Joe gets near the mistletoe. He's going to rape you under the mistletoe, yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, coming up, what do uh, what does Chelsea Handler, Keith Oberman, and uh, Joy Behar all have in common with Buzz Aldrin. That's that's one of the things I'm excited to talk about. And uh, as you know, uh, the social media channels are abuzz today with uh, anti-bullying cries for, for a young guy uh, in, in the heels of a verdict in Chicago where somebody actually physically harmed a human being in a hate crime, pled guilty, and wasn't convicted and and uh, or was convicted but wasn't punished at oh, all. Oh, by the way, we have that footage. Bleep, we have that footage bleeped out. I meant to lead the show with that, but there was another Islamic terror attack. They said we were liars last year when this happened. You reported on it here. They said it's fake. They're not torturing that white guy, cutting part of his scalp out, saying we're going to kill you as the mind of a four-year-old autistic man. And of course they did. And the judge said, "Hey, they're black. He's white. I'm letting you go." Just like, "Hey, you shoot a white woman, Kate Stanley in the back." We're not just going to not send you to jail or give you uh, give you a manslaughter for this. If you try to have a march for her, we're going to have Antifa come out and physically attack you. I can't even I can't even watch that video. Even just you showing me the clip of the video just now 
it's 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 one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. And and what I I see are people hurting people. I don't even I didn't even really go to when it first I, exactly. I, if I saw six white people with a with a black guy tied up beating him up, I would get pissed and I'd Terrible. be ashamed. And, and, and but yeah. it, what makes it worse is imagine it was a mentally retarded black man or white guy. Exactly. I don't see what color they are. What I see is a bunch of crazy racist nuts wound up by the media because they're going screw you, Trump. You because you know, it's all about Trump. He's some clean cut, mentally retarded guy. But because he's clean cut, because mommy dressed him that way, they think they're getting back at Whitey when it's somebody that doesn't have half of what they got. This poor, this poor little boy was tortured by other people. I don't know how other people can do that to people. And 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 when that happens. And when judges see that, I, I tweeted out the judge's name, not for uh, retribution or anything, but people need to know. Yeah, we've got people an article up on Infowars.com. If it, can, can one of you guys print that, or ladies, print that for me, just so we have that in the next segment? Because I want to read. The judge said, I don't think sending you, uh, you, know, uh, you folks to jail, I mean, that's the quote, uh, for doing this, it will help you. So I'm just going to let you go, uh, you know, probation. And they banned her and the others from social media. That's, by the way, that's not a punishment. That is actually a, a, gift. a service. It's a <laughs> gift, exactly. That is a gift. It's not a punishment. That that those people need to be punished. How can they? Because this is kidnapping. The they had the guy for much of a day, tortured him, kept saying, "We're gonna kill you." I mean, let's just show the video for TV viewers. Just his face. Because, but remember when they said it was fake? Remember? Yeah. Yeah. And he keeps. It, it, I mean, look at this. How old was he? Uh, he was a teenager. I don't think they gave his age. I just, I suspect under 18. And it's horrible. I mean, it's just the most disgusting. And the, and the young, and racist, black, crazy people don't even know that. You, why are you doing it live on the internet, idiots? You've got a retarded white kid torturing the hell out of him, and then you, you, you're putting it out on the internet. There's a real problem with what people are and aren't doing on the internet, and and the opposite, the polar opposite of this to me is this recent uh, this flurry on Twitter with this young guy Keaton who was uh, bullied, and I saw that video too. His mother put up a video for people who haven't seen it. His mother put up a video. There's some kids that have been teasing him. He's got uh, maybe a speech impediment or something going on. He's got He's a cleft a... lip, and and you know, and I'm sad for him, but I don't. I wonder if Daddy's around because he needs to learn how to. I mean, I guess you go to jail now if you fight back. Exactly. So, so in my life, in my family, in the world that I'm growing up in, or that I grew up in, you don't air your grievances on social media first to get the wor world to rally around you in this victim mentality. You need to teach that young man how to defend himself, how to protect himself, how not to be a victim. And that seems to be lost in this world today. They don't teach it as Because they want victims, fact. and it's the number one story in the world, and I should have led the show with it. That's why I got a real talk show host like you here, Matt. By the way, Matt, we got to figure out a home for you every day here. So I want to launch more shows, and I, and I, and I think you know, teaming you up with one of the other guys it, it would, would do you disjustice because they're great, you're great. I think you're kind of a one-man show and have any guests you want on. You need, you need to pick your slot with us. No, I mean, I've known you like eight years. You've been carrying the show. You've come down and visited me. We've been out to dinner, You know, met some of your family. But you need you need to start hosting here. You need to just well, come on I, every day. No, I'm sure because when I listen to you, you do better talk radio than I do. You always cover the biggest stories but always tie it into stuff that's important. You hijack the big story and then use it to wake people up about bigger issues. I mean, you're the man. Oh, it's nice of you. You know what happens is, is you guys are so on the front line every day. There's so much stuff to cover, as you know. There's so many things going on. It's tough. And what happens is, is I'm, I'm frankly not as busy as you guys are. So I end up seeing things, and I see these reactions from parents in the pickup line at school, and the way people are reacting, and it's, it's mind-boggling. And so it's just a little bit of a. An and then it teaches man. kids to be whiny babies. But but again, it's it really not their does. fault. They don't let them fight back. They take dads out of the home. The guy should have a big brother or a cousin. And, and yeah. if somebody really did do that, you don't beat up the kids that are beating him up. You go find their brother and beat them up. Exactly. Well, that's one of the things I hear these celebrities saying is on Twitter, they're, they're, they're saying, well, we should go get these bullies. Okay, wait a minute. So your answer to the bullying is to go bully more bullies? That doesn't make any sense. The answer is... No, their dads need to be kid. beating their asses. Yes. And by that, That's I mean it. making them run around the block till they throw up, putting them, you know, <laughs> uh, grounding them, whatever. Yeah.
The right wing smear machine has gotten Alex Jonesified this election cycle. It's a guy named Alex Jones. Alex Jones. From InfoWars. From InfoWars. Yeah. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. He's one of those guys who believes that Bigfoot was responsible for 9 11. I heard that on Alex Jones, so it's true. He claims that 9 11 and the Oklahoma City bombings were inside jobs. The conspiracy du jour, Hillary Clinton is harboring a secret medical condition. You just had to keep digging, didn't you, Alex? I heard it on Alex Jones, so I know Why? Jones! Google is being accused of hiding negative stories about Hillary and her campaign by changing its algorithm to bury stories like the Clinton body count story. That's according to website InfoWars. And this really just is so disgusting. The juice of these pickles is on you, Alex Jones. It goes right from Alex Jones, and it shows up in Donald Trump's mouth. Hillary Clinton created ISIS with Obama. The very fringe of the conspiracy movement, like Alex Jones, are being kind of incorporated uh, into the campaign. If Trump gets elected, he's going to be Secretary of Defense. I think that Alex Jones is a lunatic. Move, bitch! Get, Get out, out the way! Bill Clinton is a rapist at InfoWars.com. Bill Clinton is a rapist! <laughs> Bill Clinton is a rapist. Infowars.com. Infowars.com. Bill Clinton's a rapist. The New World Order sends its regards. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. It's Alex Jones. I'm coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas, the ATX. And we've got Matt Dubiel here from Chicago. As we're trying to recapture these Democrat globalist-held cities. We do that first by removing the Republican establishment to restore Americana, restore the engine of success. Uh, here's the article I was mentioning earlier. We just tuned in. Torture of disabled white teen released on probation. Don't mess this up, says the judge. And then you see the folks that kidnapped the, the mentally retarded guy, tortured him, cut part of his scalp off, kept telling him we're going to kill you. I mean... This is kidnapping, aggravated with weapons, torturing him, bodily harm, menacing, and you know what? No jail time, baby. No jail. I mean, it just goes on for hour after hour. We're going to kill you, you white piece of garbage. And I'm not blaming all black people for this, but where is the media decrying it? They won't cover it except to say it was fake last year. So that's why Matt Dubiel brought that up. You see Kate Stanley shot in the back by an illegal alien who'd been deported five times. Most of the crime against uh, Hispanics is usually by uh, illegal aliens that come into their own neighborhoods. So it's hurting Hispanics more than anybody. But this lady, white lady, gets shot in the back, and the jury could not convict him. Couldn't even give him manslaughter, which just means you did it accidentally. It's a, it's a you know, license to kill. This guy is 007 because they thought it would hand Trump a victory, which shows how the left is like a cult. That empowered everybody to get Kate's law in all this. And, and, and it creates a backlash on Hispanic Americans that aren't connected to all these illegals and criminals and mental patients that are coming over the border. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, you can't go to Mexico and just stay there or be a criminal and do whatever you want. I mean, it's the same thing. Even though that's where people used to run, but you, know, you, see, you had to hide out and not get in trouble and use a fake name. You didn't get deported, you know, some people like 40 times I've seen. Donald Trump. I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the post office or something. Sometimes I scramble addresses too sloppy when I jot them. But anyways, what's up, man? How's your daughter? I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest fan. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back. Just a chat. Truly yours. I can't stand that motherfucker, and I feel like I feel like he's not paying attention to me. Okay. And I was kind of waiting for him to say something. Like his Twitter fingers. Yeah. Yeah, and for some reason he didn't say anything. Now back to Matt Dubiel and 13, 1530. Uh, we have teleprompter free. 1530 WCKG, and of course it's also got the. Uh, FM affiliate as well, 102.3 WCKG. Back to Matt Dubiel. Alex, it's dangerous in Chicago, brother. It's uh, 11 out of 11 homicides in the month of December, and today is what, the 10th? Is today the 10th? The 11th. Uh, 
the 11th. So uh, we're one for one every day, which is uh, sad and disgusting. For the month of November, 39 deaths in Chicago. And what people don't realize, what the media doesn't tell you, just like the story about the uh, those people that kidnapped somebody. Could you imagine if you kidnapped, uh, if, if you went to, let's say, uh, Singapore or another country in the UK uh, or anywhere abroad, and you committed a crime like shoplifting, or uh, back in the day, I remember there were kids that spray painted, and I think it was in Singapore, Singapore. and they ended up, yeah, they ended up getting cane. Uh, and there was this big international to do about these kids because they, I don't know, spray painted something, and then they were getting caned, or they were going to get caned, and then you know there was there was uh, diplomatic efforts that had to be taken into account. And here in the United States of America, we have citizens kidnapping other citizens. And and in what is defined as a hate crime, and the judge in the hate crime, after the person pleads guilty, says, you know what, uh, we're, we're putting people in jail for not paying their child support. We're putting people in jail for smoking pot uh, when they're dying of cancer. We're putting people in jail for uh, in debtor's prisons for other white-collar crimes. But uh, you committed the act of kidnapping somebody you abused the person, you videotaped it and showed it to people, I'm just going to ban you from social media. That's all we're going to do. You cut a piece of their scalp out and you tell them you're going to kill them. This guy thought for hours he was about to die. You see the sorrow. It was a disgusting, disgusting display and abuse and torture. This should never happen. You know, and by the way, in the meantime, we debate whether we should do stuff similar to this at like Guantanamo for people that are terrorists and everybody gets involved and says, oh, no, we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't waterboard terrorists to find out when they're going to kill the next 50,000 people. And the look in that kid's eyes where he, he's, like, totally confused, he's mentally retarded, and he's just, like, begging, like, why, why? And they just keep uh, t torturing him. It's just, that's, mainstream media created that. Yeah, you know, I remember right after the election, the uh, internet and Facebook and social media was swelling with the with the BS storyline of what am I going to tell my kids? What am I going to tell my daughter about Hillary not winning? What am I going to tell my kids about Trump? What do you tell your kids about this world where this can happen to an innocent child? And by the way, I, I think both of us would be saying the same thing if that was a uh, black kid. And uh, absolutely. Kid, and Listen, Asian I'm kid. ashamed. If, even though I'm not at fault, some other white person does something, I would be ashamed. I'm ashamed as a human watching these black people act like this. I'd feel a lot better if I saw black yeah. leaders saying, hey, those kids ought to get thrown in prison for five years, man. You kidnap somebody, yes. you say you're going to kill them, you torture them, and, and, and on top of it, it's a mentally retarded person? I mean, That's what the? What, that is just, it's crazy. If Al Sharpton was worth his salt, if uh, Reverend the Reverend Jesse Jackson was worth his salt, they would be on television right now saying, you know what, this was a miscarriage of justice and we should be doing better. These children that did these crimes should be punished. They don't represent us. They don't represent the black community. Mothers and grandmothers and fathers in this community should be doing better. And this is not us. Hey, well, that's we the excuse is, is these teenagers are like 15, 16, 19 I mean, I mean, Brittany Covington, the one they just let off, they had to. She's 19, the ringleader. I mean, when do women commit crimes like this? We have women in America now torturing people? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Listen to the deals we've got. They're great and take action. We're calling this not just Christmas Monday, because they have that thing called Green Monday to be environmental. I say, yeah, don't fight the cars. Don't fight the traffic. Don't fight the lines. Don't do all that crazy stuff. Buy online or go to mom and pop shops, whatever you do, not the big corporate stores. Uh, but Christmas week, we're launching massive Christmas savings all week long at InfoWarsStore.com plus state uh, site-wide free shipping. And a bunch of the sales we had were extending on the colloidal silver, 67% off. And on Super Male Vitality, 50% off. And on Brain Force, 50% off, even though a lot of those are close to selling out. And on Alpha Power, the new introductory super products, just learn about that, folks. Incredible. You owe it to yourself to get this. 50% uh, off. The Real Red Pill, brand new, 50% off. DNA Force, 33% off. That's about to sell out. Survival Shield, 50% off. Knockout, 50% off. Proscar, 50% off. Vitamin Mineral Fuse, 50% off. M4 Selects, high quality, horrible food, 50% off. Plus, much more.
books, T-shirts, films. I've got shirts that say it's okay to be white. It's okay to be black. It's okay to be brown. It's okay to be red. It's okay to be pink. It's okay. But at the bottom it says it's great to be human. We've got triggering shirts, all lives matter. Oh, those are beautiful. And they're great ways to just reach out and be called a Nazi for saying that. But that's only in university areas, a few leftist cities, uh, and in certain enclaves. Most places you'll get, you know, gender bought for you, seriously, or meet like-minded people. But we've got shirts that aren't as radical either at InfoWarsStore.com. Whatever you do, please commit today to check out the products. A lot of these are limited edition that are selling out. So check out the ball caps. Oh, we got a lot of hoodies, a lot of other great stuff at InfoWarsStore.com. It's Christmas week. It's Christmas week, so thank you all for giving yourself a present and getting high-quality products at low prices and giving the country and the world a present while you fund InfoWars that gives you cutting-edge, fearless news and information in an information warfare era.